Did you know that 85% of employees experience some form of conflict at work? That is a staggering number, and it highlights just how prevalent team conflict is in the workplace. But here's the good news. Conflicts don't have to spell disaster for your team. When managed well, conflicts can lead to better understanding, innovation, and stronger team bonds. Today's video is going to be all about managing team conflict effectively. I will cover five key points that will help you turn conflict into opportunities for growth and cooperation. To resolve any conflict, you first need to understand its root cause. It's a personal issue between team members or is it a task related? Identifying the source of conflict is crucial because it determines how you approach the resolution process. Conflicts can arise from various sources, such as misunderstanding, different in values or goals, personality clashes or even external stressors like tight deadlines or heavy workloads. Imagine two team members who are constantly fighting during meetings. If you dig deeper, you might find that the conflict arises from a misunderstanding about roles and responsibilities, rather than personal animosity. In this case, clarifying each person's duties can help alleviate the tension. According to a study by CPP Global, 49% of workplace conflicts stem from personality clashes and egos, while 34% are due to stress and heavy workloads. It's also helpful to consider cultural differences, as diverse teams might have different communication styles and conflict resolution preferences. Encourage open dialogue within your team, create a safe environment where team members feel comfortable expressing their concerns without fear of retaliation or judgment. Open communication is the cornerstone of conflict resolution. One effective way to promote open communication is by establishing regular check-ins or team meetings dedicated to discussing any issues or concerns. These sessions should be structured to allow every team member an opportunity to speak and be heard. It's crucial to set ground rules that promote respect and active listening. Use these sessions to actively listen and address concerns before they escalate into a full-blown conflict. A study published in the Harvard Business Review found that teams with high level of open communication and trust are more likely to navigate conflict successfully and maintaining a high performance. Leveraging the communication tools like anonymous feedback platforms can encourage team members to share their thoughts without fear. This can be especially useful in identifying underlying issues that might not surface in regular discussions. When conflicts arise, it's essential to listen to all the parties involved validate their perspective and act as a neutral mediator to facilitate a fair resolution. Active listening involves giving full attention to the speaker, acknowledging their feeling and refraining from interrupting. It's important to listen, not just to respond, but to understand. This approach helps in building trust and demonstrate empathy, which can diffuse Tensions. Suppose two team members disagree on how to approach a project. You can hold a mediation session where each person gets a chance to explain their viewpoint without interruption, acknowledge their point of view, and work towards a solution that respects both perspectives. According to research, effective mediation can reduce conflict duration and intensity leading to more sustainable resolutions. In mediation, it's also beneficial to restate the concerns of each party to ensure clarity and understanding. This technique, known as reflective listening, helps to confirm that everyone's points are accurately captured and considered. Shifting the focus from the personal attacks to finding solutions is key in resolving conflicts. Promote a problem-solving mindset within your team. Encouraging a solution-oriented approach involves guiding the conversation away from blame and towards collaboration. It's important to remind the team that the goal is not to assign fault, but to find a way forward that benefits everyone. For example, if a project deadline is missed, instead of blaming one person, encourage the team to analyze what went wrong 
and how to prevent it in the future. This approach not only resolves the current issue, but also strengthens the team's problem-solving abilities. A study by the American Psychological Association found that teams focusing on solution rather than blame are more likely to foster a collaborative environment leading to improved team morale and productivity. Facilitating brainstorming sessions where team members can suggest potential solutions can also be very effective. This collective problem solving process helps in generating innovative ideas and ensures that everyone feels involved and valued. Resolving the conflict is just the beginning. Follow up with your team to ensure that the resolution is effective and the conflict does not resurface. It's essential to check in with the involved parties after the resolution to understand their satisfaction with the outcomes and to address any lingering issues. Regular follow-ups demonstrate your commitment to maintaining a positive work environment. After a conflict resolution meeting, check in with the involved parties after a week or two. Ask how they are feeling and if they have noticed any improvement. Regular follow-ups shows that you are committed to a long-term resolution. Research suggests that follow-up and monitoring are critical components of conflict management, as they help ensure that the agreement reached are implemented and respected over time. Additionally, creating a conflict resolution policy and documenting the steps taken can help in managing future conflicts more effectively. This policy should outline the process for addressing conflict and the roles and responsibilities of everyone involved. Managing team conflict is an essential skill for any leader. In this video, I explain five other skills leaders must have. Thanks for watching and see you next week.